Okay, so this is from Kingdom Protista. This is a paramecium, and you can recognize a paramecium on one hand from its outer shape that you see here, as well as from this curve where it curves in on the side here. This is called the gullet um, or the oral groove. I've heard it called either one. You can see here that as the food is coming in here, then it's creating a little vesicle inside with the food as it's coming in through here. Uh, so this is the nucleus of the paramecium. This is the micronucleus. This is the macronucleus. This is the micronucleus. So there's two different nuclei. So big is the macronucleus. The small one is the micronucleus. Also in here, we see what's called the contractile vacuole. The contractile vacuole helps to expel water out of the paramecium. Since the paramecium doesn't have a cell wall, the water can come in through osmosis and the contractile vacuole helps to expel that excess water so that the paramecium doesn't blow up. So this is the contractile vacuole full of water and this is the contractile vacuole after it has squeezed and expelled its water and pumped that water out. And Normally this paramecium would be covered in cilia. This model doesn't show the cilia, but there would be cilia all the way around the outside of the paramecium as well.